You approach this and you say, Pelé, bendejo, I'm gonna earn my via placasa. <laughs> This method's gonna help you build strength, hypertrophy, and explosive power all in one. Think about it, you're building the strength with the heavy weight, okay? The power and explosive is gonna be built, you get, if you lift heavy weight, you're gonna build explosive power that way too by the intent to move it fast, compensatory acceleration training. If you intend to move it fast, you get the explosive strength adaptations, okay? 225 for him, explosive. Maximum force, force equals mass time acceleration. Build strength and explosive power that way. Then we maximize time under tension. He's going five seconds down, counting five, one, two, three, four, three up. Okay, when he gets to that point, he hits failure. I'm gonna guide him. And isometrically, he's contracting as hard as possible for eight seconds. So we've overloaded all the contractions, different tempos, all that in one set. So this is called the Big Kahuna Method. I learned it from a bouncer at this dive bar in Okinawa. Okay, I'm just kidding. I actually picked it up from Christian Thibodeau, but I changed it, uh, I changed the tempo around a little bit. And it, I mean, it's a hell of an overload. I used to do this a lot when I was doing bodybuilding stuff. And you know, so give Jonathan some commentary. So just like feeding off of what Josh, Josh just said, um, we're, we're working that explosive in the strength aspect of it at the beginning of the, of the, of the exercise. Um, the time under tension is what really kills you though. You know, any one of us can be able to push some heavy ass weight, but really being able to hold that and maintain it as we go down with the slow negative, you know, that's where I felt like the most of it and really getting that huge pump. I mean, we just did one set and I'm already feeling like my chest is puffed out. I feel great, uh, but it's just beginning, man. I'm looking forward to this workout. Yeah. So basically this is a holistic approach. So we got heavyweight, lightweight, slow tempo, fast tempo, all Oh, maximum overload. This is what uh, the, my mentor, the late Dr. Fred Hatfield, talked about when he talked about you know those C workouts that are a total overload for hypertrophy. Let's we're gonna do it again in a minute. Two. Here we go. Come on. Go. Oh. One more. Go. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Uh, Fuck. Uh, Let's go, champ. Here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. Come on. Yep. Boom. One. Perfect. Two. Three. Four. Five. Last one. Good. Awesome. Come on. Here we go. Yep. One, two, three. Oh. Come on. Four. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna do uh, six. Oh. Ah. Last one. Here we go. This is a giant set. We've talked about these before many times. Okay. So what it what it means? It, this is a you wanna we're gonna do you go heavy. We're going two heavy movements. This is what Fred Hatfield would call a C giant set, overloading all spectrum of fibers here, different angles, all that stuff. You know, Charles Polk and Origin Search, so we can do it go on and on. But here's the bottom line what we did. Okay, six weighted dips. Okay, you go heavy on those. Eight, dumbbell incline, very traditional movement. We added a band to that. So what the band does is provide variable resistance. The beauty of that is you love to do it on a, you know, you can do it even on a move that's not linear, so like a fly, whatever. But the band is gonna, as you go up, you gain strength, leverage, mechanical advantage. The band pulls tighter, makes it harder, okay? So we go six, eight, 
than 40. So let's go walk over here and look at this pec deck. What's interesting about um, this new, you know, this new pec deck, you know, Greg got it here at Destination. I'm not trying to promote Greg. I don't even like the guy. We like different kinds of vodka. It's, you can overload different portions of it. So what we did right here on this giant set is to overload the beginning and the middle range of motion. So now we're gonna do set it a different spot. So we're gonna overload the end range of motion. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how we got one more of these giant sets. So it's gonna be fun. Go. This is not a symposium and perfect push-up technique. This is making your chesticles swell up like they're gonna explode. And he did exactly like that. You wanna just push, 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 feel the pain. Wars Valley 15, 15 to one, every number covered right there. Like he said, it's not about perfect push-ups. I mean, just getting the most out of yourself. I mean, it's what I try to do. It's what I basically I felt like I accomplished. Yeah. I love this, and it's great to have somebody like him, again, in your ear just pulling you through. Because you, you really don't realize how much that motivates you within to really dig deep and, and finish up the workout. I think, um, I mean, the workout went real well today. This, uh, we did some very, you know, high intensity stuff. And a lot of times when people do the higher intensity stuff, they hardly do any volume. We got a lot of that in too. So we kind of covered all bases here and the whole workout took um, 50 minutes. That's nothing. Including the first warm up. So we got a lot done in a little bit of time. Yeah. Exactly that, just maximizing your time. I mean, that's what we need to do. I'm really looking forward to this, man. Yeah. Yeah, this was Good great. Work. Appreciate you, bro. Got, got more to come. Yes, sir. I don't want his pork chop, I want his life.